And I'm back. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out and watching. Much appreciated. Okay, so we just uh, won this fight, I guess. <laughs> a lot of carnage. And we got mythic levels, too. Let's loot this stuff first. So we can find anything good. Crappy stuff from demons. I think demons have better stuff. Okay, that. Oh, that's going to be the way out over here on the left. So it's kind of an ugly fight, but we're okay. Okay. So, mythic levels. How do we do this? I'm guessing that's going to be the mythic path up here. No mythic powers, rank one or rank zero. Clicked on that. There we go. So Mythic Hero. Mythic Heroes are set apart from their contemporaries, capable of amazing feats of courage in the face of overwhelming odds. In spite of this, they're still similar in many ways to other adventurers. They have hit points in armor class and saving throws. In fact, most of their statistics are comparable to non-Mythic characters of an equal level. Where Mythic characters differ is in the special mythic abilities. These abilities enhance Mythic characters both in and out of battle, allowing them to take part in extraordinary larger than life adventures. So we can't choose those guys yet. So, next. First Ascension. At first rank of the character's mythic progression, they need to select their first Ascension ability. This ability is usually closely tied to the source of, character, of the character's mythic powers. It does not determine the character's choice of an actual mythic path later, but the source of the powers and the mythic path are closely linked. The character must be aware of their connection to the source to select the ability linked to it. Um, bit of fun. Close to the abyss, so this is going to be probably the trickster, this is going to be demon, angel, probably lich. I don't know what these guys would be, though. We're going to, we're trying to go the lich route, so... Hey Jeff, welcome back. Just went into putting everyone to sleep. Putting everyone to sleep, Jeff. As always. So the Dance Macabre. So mythic characters that draw power on the, from death can channel negative energy to deal damage to living creatures and, or to heal undead creatures. Channeling energy causes a short burst of uh, either heals all on. Channeling energy causes a burst that either heals all undead creatures or damages all living creatures in the 30 foot radius covered up on the mythic character. Centered on the mythic character. Then it heals equal to 2d6 plus one per rank. Stuff. Uh, whatever on the second character gain even greater mastery of negative energy. So, gonna go that route more than likely. Let's go that way. Meant the enemies, not your viewers. Oh. Oh. I misunderstood. <laughs> Ability. Stuff there. Anyway. Let's go this way. So, Mythic Ability. At first tier, in every odd Mythic rank thereafter, select one new Mythic Ability. Abundant Casting. Find a way to increase the number of spells you can cast per day. And cast four more spells per day of first, second, and third. Oh, uh, each. Okay. Always a chance. Your attacks are now less uh, affected by luck. You don't automatically miss when you roll a one on an attack roll. Archmage armor. Your mage armor. When you cast mage armor on yourself, it gives an additional armor bonus. Okay. Ascendant element. Choose one uh, type of energy, blah, blah, blah. The damage of that energy type you deal can no longer be prevented or reduced by resistance or immunities. Oh, that might be handy. Summons. Could you summon to you gain a bonus to strength, dexterity, constitution, one ground, equal to half your mythic rank plus one. Their attacks now ignore damage reduction except uh, N. 
battle meditation. You are able to channel your mythic powers into invigorating and co coordinating your allies. As a standard action, you can enter a state of battle meditation. While in this state, you are able, unable to move. Lose your dexterity bonus to AC. All allies within 30 foot radius gain a morale bonus to attack and damage rolls and saving throws against fear effects equal to one plus. Okay. Beneficial curse. Oracle's curse. You have found out that cures can be a blessing and now you know how to use them. You gain an additional Oracle curse, but it gives you no penalties. So blackened. No, I don't want that one. Demonic. Yeah. Hellbound. Lane plagued. It's plagued. Suffer from, from minor ailments and sicknesses while you struggle to resist new disease. You have grown accustomed to the many inconveniences of sickness. No. Powerless prophecy. No. Pranked, wasting. Body is slowly rotting away. Take a minus four penalty on charisma based skill checks, except for persuasion skill checks. When used to intimidate, you gain plus four competence bonus on save throw, saves made against disease. That's not a big deal for us. We already have a lot of stuff as being a damn fear, so. Um. Best jokes. Boundless healing, brutality incarnate. The wounds you inflict with your natural attacks, um well cleaving shot. It's time you deal critical damage with your ranged weapon attack. Or reduce the target to zero hit points, you deal your weapon damage to all other enemies in a ten foot radius. That's a ranged weapon attack. Dimensional retribution. <laughs> you get to instantly move to enemy casters. Every time you are targeted by an enemy spell, you gain the ability to teleport to the spellcaster or move as a move action for the next Hello two turn rounds. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. Uh, if you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Happy Tuesday. So Domain Zealot. You move closer to your deity and to the power it has over its divine domains. You can use the abilities of your domains as a swift action. I don't know what those are. I'm at the barrage, so we don't really do that. Emergency help. Albertize with him. Less than 30 hit points till the end of the next round. Your first healing spell or ability is empowered or maximized as though using the empowered. Okay, nice. What don't I know? I don't currently know what my domain's powers are. I'm an oracle, and I don't know how that works. <laughs> so, the abilities of your domains as a swift action. Again, I'm, a, I'm an oracle, so I don't know what that applies to. During spells, you have learned on a way of predominating the end of effects of your beneficial spells. Effects of your spells and your allies it should last longer than an hour, but shorter than 24 hours now last 24 hours. Hey, Ring, welcome back. Yeah, I'm not sure I have a domain. Well, do I? I don't think I actually get a domain domain. Ready. Whenever you make an attack of opportunity, you gain a bonus on attack rolls and damage. Exposed vulnerability. Ranged weapon attacks. We don't do those. Inspirational leader. Your allies within 50 feet of you gain a bonus equal to half your myth mythic rank plus one to their initiative, their saving throws against mind affecting effects, and their concentration checks. Hmm. I stand. Once per day, when your hit points drop low, you become unkillable for two rounds. You become immune to damage that would make you unconscious. Leading strike. There's a lot of stuff here to go through. Holy crap. <laughs> Leading strike. Every time you hit a target in melee combat, you leave a mark on it. 
A any ally attacking the marked target deals additional divine damage equal to 1d6 per mythic rank to the target consuming the mark. Mm -hmm. Limitless Rage, we don't do that. Magic Nullification. Master Shapeshifter, not us. Mythic Charge. Your charge carries the weight of your mythic powers. Your charge attack deals additional divine damage equal to 26 per rank. Powerful Shadows. Shadow spells are 20% more real. What's a shadow spell? Raging. Ranging shots, we don't do ranged. Rupture restraint. Second mystery. Ancestor. An oracle with the ancestor mystery deals with all, adds all knowledge and lower checks to her list of class skills. Battle. And large person, oh, those are all the spells we'll get. Hmm. Flame. Do I want fire? Not really. Heard nature mystery grant you charisma to AC. Ah, okay. We'll take a look at that. Life. Final revelation stuff. Remove sickness. Restore lesser. Restoration. Nature. Feather step. Bark skin. Poison. Spike stones. Cave fangs. Primal Regression. Creeping Doom. Now we get to do Antler. Allows within 10 within a 10 within a 10 foot burst centered on the target creature within close range. So what's that do? Oh, Polymorph. If you change the forms of every ally to a large bear. <laughs> And then shape change. You take the form of a wide variety of creatures. Eh. Is it the final revelation? Discover the intrinsic citrus line. But well, once per day you can change your type. No, that doesn't help. Yeah, I know there are other bonuses, but they're not really just saying what they are. Stone, waves, or wind. I mean, we're, it doesn't really tell you. That's the problem. It doesn't tell you what the other stuff is. Battle might be good. Large, all this other fun stuff. Legendary proportions in there. Persuasion, knowledge of the world, and perception to our list of class skills. So that means they get better, right? Ancestor. Hmm, I don't know. What else is here? The bigger they are. You gain a bonus on your attack rolls with ranged weapons. I don't do ranged weapons. Thundering blows. The sound of your blows is powerful enough to damage even without piercing through enemy defense. So once per round, when your melee attack misses the target, you deal 2d6 plus 1d6 per level of loss. Sonic damage to all enemies in 10 foot radius. Hmm. I'm not starting a new campaign. We just, it's a new leveling system part of the game. Unrelenting Assault. As long as you keep fighting, the power of your melee attacks keeps growing. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain a stacking plus two bonus to damage rolls with melee weapons, up to a maximum plus ten. That lasts until the end of combat. Unstoppable. I don't know <laughs> all these choices. I don't know. Um, I 
I like if we do negative energy stuff, it can no longer be resisted. It can no longer be prevented or reduced by resistances or immunities. Oh, the one that we keep getting bonuses? Yeah, you would think. This is the state you are unable to move. We don't want to do that one. Beneficial curse. None of these are really what I want. Although it seems that uh, Wolfsguard, or what is it, Wolfsguard Face, which was the one I already have, this is broken now because I'm not getting bite attacks anymore for some reason. I don't know what happened, but I don't get bite attacks anymore. Brutality Incarnate. Oh, it's natural attacks. Cleaving shot. Again, that's a ranged one, right? I like this one, the spellcasters. Every time somebody casts a spell at you, you get to teleport and beat the crap out of them. How close? I'm using a scythe, so I'm right next to him. I haven't changed my weapon. I've been using a scythe all the time. I haven't changed anything, Ring. Do you, on Saturday it was working? Or sorry, Sunday it was working, and then they did a patch yesterday morning, and I haven't been biting since. Domain thing. This is this is the inner. It's you know, domain abilities. Swift action. I don't know what. We don't probably get those. You have any hat that covers your face? I don't think we're wearing a face of hat currently. I just don't think I am. <laughs> Every time you deal energy damage to creature, you apply an elemental. No, no, we don't want to do that. During spells, force vigor. Every time you damage an app. Every time you damage an ally, they gain, they gain plus two mythic bonus on attack and damage rolls. Bonuses last for a number of rounds equal to half your mythic rank. Okay. And we're ready. Whenever you make an attack of opportunity, no. I suppose we're ability. Close range attacks. Inspirational leader. Last stand, let's make sure he doesn't die so often. Leading strike. Time you hit a target man, you leave a mark on it. I don't know. Still want to know what the shadows are. Your shadow spells are 20% more real. What is a shadow spell? I don't think I've seen shadow spells. Chance of day you automatically spell any effects that make you frightened, day, sick, and whatever. Feel there. Mm -hmm. Shadow evocation, shadow con conjuration too now. Oh, stuff that's not really, not really accessible to me. Every turn, as long as you make at least one melee attack, you gain. Uh, it's not the one. Thundering blows. Once per round, when your melee attack misses the target, you deal that much damage, sonic damage, to all enemies in a 10 foot radius. If you miss, Gippy misses a lot. <laughs> Gippy does miss a lot. Yeah, I remember the Shadow Evocation back then, right? Okay, but it's just stuff we don't have access to, right? The shadow stuff. I honestly don't know what to pick here. I know it's not the end of the world if I do the wrong thing, but... I think we're going to go with the, the Ascendant element with the negative energy. So the damage of the energy type you deal no longer can be prevented or reduced by resistances. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, what's this? So is this the it? Yeah, this is it. So channel neg oh, 
Ascended element negative energy. Channel negative energy damage living. Healy undead. Channel negative energy. Ascend energy negative. So that's what I get to do now. So I can heal myself now with that. Oh, that was just Gimpy. That was just Gimpy's ability there. You still have to do everybody else. So Gimpy now has channel negative energy damage living. The amount of damage dealt or healed is equal to that. So he can hurt his friends, but uh, yeah. We will win this war. Next path. So, Sila, what are we doing with you? You've learned a way to increase the number of smite and evil ability. That's probably a good thing to do for her. Let's just do smite, abundant smite. She needs a she does she goes to those fairly quickly. Wow, that was quick. Apparently they don't get as cool stuff as uh well. he does. Also shaman. Abundant casting. She goes through spells pretty fast. Better healing. Cast cure speed spells. Whenever you cast a cure wound spell or another healing spell, it becomes reach as though using the reach spell feat. Also, the amount of hit points is now restored depends entirely on your casting level and disregards any limits in the original spell. You can alter a spell with a, a range of touch close or medium to increase its range by one range category using the following order. Touch, close, medium, and long. Another healing spell it becomes a reach. So you can just reach out and kill or he heal people from a range. Hmm. Don't know what her domain is. I don't think that applies to the shaman anyway. You can teleport to an ally who has less than 20 30 hit points. Your first healing spell or abilities and power to maximize. Yes. <laughs> yes. No very hard decision there. Okay, so something range for uh, land. Huh? Abundant key. So more key points. Summons battle meditation. No. Each time you deal critical damage with your ranged weapon attack or reduce the targets to zero hit points, you deal your weapon damage to all of the enemies in 10 foot radius. Sure. Unless there's something better. Smells vulnerability. Your ranged weapons expose the enemy's vulnerable points. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals an additional 1d6 per 2 mythic kind. Okay. Every time you miss an enemy with a ranged weapon attack, your aim improves, giving you a plus, stacking plus 1 bonus and attack roll attacks against the same enemy upon up to the maximum of your mythic rank. Every successful hit lessens this bonus by one. Hmm. What's the one cleaving shot? Let's do this one. It only affects enemies, so sounds good to me. So it is restless. I wonder hmm. why. The witch. Where are we going to get the witch? More spells for her? For a second and third spells? Cast mage armor on yourself and get an additional armor bonus equal to your mythic rank. It's only plus. Oh, here we go. Fire. You did it wrong. Oh, sorry. This is how you do it. 
warg. Please excuse me. That was embarrassing. Fire. I meant to say. Jag. So basically what this means is she can hit demons with fire. If this is to be believed, the damage of that energy type you deal no longer can be prevented or reduced by resistance or immunities. So her fire spells will hit the demons now. Ask nicely. Hopefully that's what it means. And him. So dual wielding, we decided what was good for dual wielding? The one near the bottom of the list? Unrelenting assault. As long as you keep fighting, the power of your melee attacks keep growing. Uh, growing. Every turn, as long as you make an, at least one melee attack, you gain an additional a stacking plus two bonus to damage rolls with melee weapons up to a maximum of plus ten. So, yeah. Every turn. As long as you make at least one melee. Is that the one we were thinking of? Or is it something else? That's once per round. Stoppable. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Okay. Fun. You can trust me. I like you. Good enough. Oh, look, we've all been drained, or they've all been drained of wisdom. Do not make their saving throws. Get out of here. We can go back the way we came, go clean up stuff, maybe. I feel like I've missed things. I'm sure I did. Eh, let's get out of here. I'll go ahead. All that masterwork stuff. I don't want to hit this collect all button because we'll pick up a bunch of stuff we don't necessarily want and it's going to weigh us down. Like all this armor and it, you don't get a chance to say or toss stuff out before you actually leave. And you might just walk into combat too. Okay. Anyway, happy Tuesday. Ugh, that was a lot of work. A lot of stuff got to learn now for that mythic stuff. Gippy now radiates uh, negative energy when he wants. Oh, and they put us back in the party room. Make way, warrior queen coming through with a round for the heroes. Whoa, the heart is packed. And you considered mixing this little shindig, Beth? I did consider it, and I am still considering it. It hasn't even been a week since the last demon was booted out of Canabras, and we really should be in a period of mourning for all the city's fallen. But the people deserve to celebrate. And he deserves to be honored for saving the city and possibly all of Mendev. There's one hell of a fight. If you want to heap more praise on me, don't hold back. There's one hell of a one fight. One hell of a fight calls for one hell of a party. According to the watch reports, there has been no demon activity whatsoever outside Canalbris. I get the feeling the themes are as shocked by what happened as we are. What happened in the garrison? What you did? It was a miracle. I truly believe that the gods remembered us and decided to intervene. Beth, come on, you agreed. No serious business today. All right, all right, I'm done. No more. <laughs> Who 
would have thought we'd be celebrating a successful attack on the Grey Garrison, our own fortress, and that we'd blow the roof off the place? It's simply unforgivable. Comes a cheerful voice of someone sitting at the far corner of the table. While we're on the topic of the roof, there's already a rumor going around that you have been blessed by Iomade herself. And it was her power granted to you that destroyed the garrison's walls and roof. And it turns out the people want a little piece of that blessing for themselves. The townsfolk are gathering chunks of the garrison's rubble as souvenirs and talismans. And I'm sure they'll hit the black market soon enough. Oh, yeah. Here, breathe on this for me. Er, <laughs> good luck. Turns out we need all the luck we can get. Drop it in IVM. Not a messenger sent by the gods. People who aren't divine messengers don't usually go around taking whole stories off of buildings and blowing packs of demons away. But if that's how you want to play it, then fine. I'm still keeping my stone, though. Hey, it's not my fault the building got in the way. Nevi! What are you on about now? What do you mean? Do you see many people at this table who've been personally blessed by Ayomade herself? Well, a couple perhaps. It's the same earth of a voice that joined in before. Iomade's blessings are not conveyed through stones, and as public officials, we really shouldn't. Yabeth looks to the end of the table where the voice originated, and her eyes widen as the words trail off. I feel a little chastened after what you said about public officials, but I myself have acquired a few pieces of stone, and also wish to ask our hero to breathe on them for good luck. So? What now? Are you going to toss me out of this fine establishment? The dressed in unshowy finery raises her eyebrows. Your, your Majesty. Yes, it is I. I made the journey here to deduct the cost of repairing the garrison roof from your salary. We have not been introduced. Galfrey of Mendev. Shake her hand. I didn't expect to see the Queen at our table. Shake her hand. It doesn't honor your majesty. Kiss her in the rumors of your community here weren't not exaggerated. Do not move. The queen has graced us with <laughs> We'll do lawful. And for me also. So, this is what he looks like. The one all Mendev is talking about. News of your deeds reached me even before my messengers could. Your majesty. We were just... I'll have them arrange... Calm yourself, Commander. I deliberately came here without any fanfare because I did not wish to draw attention away from our honored hero here. My personal guard and the force I brought with me are standing watch outside the city. I ordered all your sentries to stand down. They also deserve a break. Every person who tirelessly fought to save Canabris will enjoy themselves today. And my reinforcements will ensure peace and order. You like her her picture, the armor and the flag? Yeah, it's very majestic, would you say? Will you join our celebrations, Your Majesty? We, need, we all need to get some rest. And if you're celebrating while the demons might be planning their next campaign. Oh, I do not doubt that, even for a moment. But we will not give them another chance to catch us off our guard. It is time to turn back the tide. Your Majesty, my dear cousin. Our douchebag friend. Count, I admit I was surprised to learn that you valiantly joined the ranks of the city's defenders. Pleasantly surprised. He hasn't done anything. I live to please you, my queen. My first thought when Daskari cruelly robbed us of noble Terendelev and half of Canabris's crusaders in one fell swoop was of you, my queen, and of how these events would weigh heavily on you. No one could have foreseen the demon attack, and we have so successfully held the defense here for four heroic crusades. I'm going to drown him in the nearest well this very night. <laughs> I value your dedication and your eloquence. I hope you will continue to aid our soldiers. Don't worry, he won't be. Not a chance. See? You know that I am not made for the front lines. 
Excellent, Bash. But alas, I really must go. Important matters to be getting on with. A new shipment of wine from Kionin and three beautiful creatures of the same provenance. But I will most assuredly come to say my farewells before your army departs on its campaign, which, wherever it may lead you, will undoubtedly be crowned with victory. I shall hold you to that, Count. And now allow me to devote some time to the hero of the evening. I did not come here solely to give you this chance to celebrate. But all serious discussions and official announcements can wait until tomorrow. I have big, big plans for all of you. Especially for you. But I want to keep you in suspense for a little while longer, so I shan't say another word. Let us mark this victory. My first host is to you, the hero of Canabras. Now, what are we drinking? How come they never say my name? <laughs> it's not that hard. How come they never say my name? The fires of Canabras have died down. Now the army's path leads to the walls of Dresden, a fallen citadel that the Crusaders have been trying in vain to reclaim for 70 years. The new piece on the board might give their efforts some added momentum. Dun dun dun. So I guess we're moving on with our lives. Banner over the citadel. Are they just going to send us on to the next place? Or apparently they are. So, the storyteller, we're doing stuff for him. Some of these people must be following us around, I would hope. Hey, Gwydian, welcome back. Is that him next to Erebeth, uh, the hero who saved Canabras? The queen is coming, the queen. Rise, warriors. Today is a day of sorrow and pride. Sorrow, because we weep for our brothers and sisters who perished in Canabras. Pride, because despite demonic treachery, our heroes repelled the attack and saved the city. I, Queen Golfrey of Mendev, declare this day the first day of the Fifth Crusade. And I am glad to introduce the one who will lead the attack on the forces of the Abyss, the hero of Canabras, Knight Commander. It's the, the time crusade. again. Drink some Your water to keep that brain from moist. Now unto victory or death. Yay. <laughs> and now it's time to rest. Everyone is dismissed. Death for everybody. There. The troop review is finished. I'll give you some time to look around the camp, and then I shall expect your presence at headquarters. Oh, death definitely comes first. I don't know why she would put me in charge. I mean, that's just stupid. Commander, please allow me to join you while you inspect our encampment. Hey, Dimension. Welcome back. You have a question. Okay, I might have an answer. Hey, it looks like we leveled up. Push the burden, yes, the burden. Oh, we have more mythic people to do. We have regular leveling up to do. So, we still have to get rid of these negative levels, too. <laughs> so, first of all, level six. So, just to verify, we cannot be a... We're going for hell, fight, hell, hell Knight Signifier still. We need to be able to cast uh, level 3 spells, which comes at this level. So, next level we become a health, Hell Knight. Just negative 4 level. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing. Ah, uh, Dimension. You're getting point blank master, right? It says to pick a type of ranged weapon, but composite bows aren't an option. 
If I pick, say, long bow, or but use a composite bow, we might give me the benefit of the feet. You are. As long as it's a, it's a composite long bow, you're set. If it's a composite short bow, and you have short bow selected for your, for the point blank master, as long as it, as long as it's a, it says short bow or long bow, it, it works. As far for that particular, I mean, it must be less confusing. So, <laughs> if it says point blank mastery with long bows, it'll work with a composite long bow and regular long bows. It's fine. As long as it says longbow or shortbow, they count. So you're set there. Okay, so Gimpy, you're sticking with the Oracle level six, get level three spells finally. And we're also getting more spells, maybe? Uh, skill points. So stick with that stuff. Gimpy is our world knowledge leader, sadly. Uh, another level one spell. Oh no, sorry, level 3 spells. Animate Dead, Aura, Tajin, Flick Serious Wounds, Ugh. Magical Vestment, Ugh. Prayer, Serene Light. Well, I'm going to go with Animate Dead because that's what Gimpy is supposed to be doing eventually. That's it. That's all I get. And it gets to cast four of these per day. So seven, uh, seven first level, six second level, and four first, or thirds. Yeah, that'll work. Next. So she's Scroll Savant, level six. She's going to be getting just spells, it looks like. She's a wizard, basically. Two level three spells. She already had... Oh, sorry, this is... It. Yeah. Hmm. Blink is it against you have a good percent chance to miss chance and the blind blind fight feat doesn't help opponents since you're ethereal and not merely invisible. Pick that up to save your butt. Uh heroism because we can. So she didn't oh, That's right, she doesn't have level four spells yet. Also, your starting lady that uses the rapier isn't getting any bonuses to her damage. It's a straight 1d6. She's proficient. Is there something else she needs to get? To yes. It's a, it's a feat that'll be off, should be offered at some point. I forget the exact name. It's like, um, I don't know what level she gets it though. Cause she's a shaman. So, but yeah, it's a feat that she has to pick up. I don't forget the name of it. Ring, are you awake? Anybody else? Can't care? What's the feat she, he needs to have it to go to... So the damage from the rapier comes from... The damage bonus comes from dexterity. I always forget the name of that feat. Eldritch Scoundrel. Two level two spells for him. Mm -hmm. Extra from alignment. Oh, this is level two spells. Let's do. Where is it? Um, Cat's Grace. Oh, sense vitals. Can't believe I forgot that already. If 
I have somebody that picks up a feed, <laughs> I can find it. But nobody's getting feed shot. And no, it doesn't look like anybody's going to be picking up a feed in level 6, does it? Got another hex, though. Weapon finesse. Is that, is that what it is? Move action and creature within its 30 foot range is uh, blue blind. That makes it last longer. Diseases inhale poisons and noxious gashes effects which is seeking cloud or negated in ten foot radius around her. Okay, yeah. I'm... Secure light wound spell, which uses a cast out of one's character, and it's only at fifth level. This hex acts like a cure moderate wounds. Actually, it's not too bad. You can put that in everybody 24 hour, for one 24 hour period. Hmm. Cause a creature within 30 feet to suffer great grave misfortune for one round. So, if you can go. So we'll save negates this hex. Hex affects all rules the target must make while it lasts. Whether or not the save is successful, a creature cannot be the target of this hex uh, again for one day. Cause fate to twist uh, benefits a creature within 30 feet from one round. Whenever the creature is targeted by an effect, requires an attack roll. Which cannot use this ability in herself. Hexes uh, that affect the fortune hex, such as cackle, also affect protective luck. Board. Ah. Let's get board. But isn't weapon finesse just the feat which allows you to take your agility instead of strength for hitting your target for damage? Yeah, that's the tricky part. Hello you need everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Tuesday. So, but isn't Weapon Finesse just the feat which allows you to take uh, your agility, dexterity, instead of strength for hitting, not for damage? Okay, you need Weapon Finesse Legend for the damage bonus. The normal one lets you use dex instead of strength for hitting. So they actually changed the name of it. <laughs> Level three spells should we get her? Bestow the curse. Place a curse on the subject. Choose one of the following: feeble body. Ah, oh, nice. Cure serious wounds, though. We have to blight poison through camellia. Nature's exile. Curses the creature. Touch me. Oh, touch attack. That's not good. Exhaustion, or blindness. Um, let's do cure serious ones. We need more curing or healing, I think. Since we don't have our cl a real cleric to do that. Weapons finesse legend. So I guess they changed names. Apparently they did. Lan. Zen archer. No feats for you either.
Key power, Scorching Ray. Sudden speed, True Strike. Scorching Ray. So, bonus feat here doesn't help, but combo mobility. Deflect arrows, dodge, improve precise shot. Your range attacks ignore anything but true concealment and cover. Range attacks ignore the mischance granted to targets by anything less than total concealment. Total concealment provides their normal benefits. Combat mobility. Plus for dodge bonus to armor class against attacks of opportunity caused when you move out or within a threatened area. Condition that makes you lose dexterity. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so rapid shot doesn't work with him? Why, why is this uh, thumbs down for him? No. Why? Why is many shot and rapid shot thumbs down for him? It's got to be a reason for the Zen Archer. Yeah, improve precise shot. Weapon specialization longbow. You're skilled in dealing damage with one weapon. Choose one weapon type. So this is automatic. You deal extra damage when using this weapon. Plus two bonus all damage rolls you make using the selected weapon. You can gain uh, this multiple times, blah stuff. Okay. Who's left? Oh yeah, her. <laughs> Still gotta get rid of all this wisdom damage too. So, Spirit Hunter, Shaman. Base attack is leveled up in the class, and as a result, this character's number of attacks around is increased. The base attack number is stat. Okay. She's doing perception. Trickery. And perception. No. Nope. Oh, ran out of points. And she gets nothing. Exceptional spells. Okay, we've got our spell book. Kippy doesn't do that. He gets another. No level ones, another level two. Put those sense vitals in there. No level three spells. She doesn't memorize, right? Nope. And there's he. she do the delay poison communal before for us? Hmm. We don't need more bark skin because everybody's covered that needs it. Dun, dun, dun. Heal. Heal. She doesn't get a she doesn't have a real big bonus spells here. Ah, oh, Paladin. Forgot her. Okay, Sela. Level six Paladin. Her skills, knowledge of the world. Perception. Mercy, dazed, disease, fatigue, sickened, or staggered. Diseased. Ah, fatigued. That's it. So she still has just two level one spells. Using those mainly for uh, land so it can hit demons. Okay, so I think that's everybody. Except for the mythic there. 
So for her, she's a wizard. Abundant casting. Oh, that's right, gives her extra level three spells. <laughs> that needs more fireballs. Oh, look at that. So many spells to cast. Um, give me Hurricane Bow. Um, she can't use these. More magic missiles. Expedious treat so she can run fast if she has to. Large person? I think we have that on a couple of different people, don't we? So many spells to cast. Um, pit. Scorching rays. I don't know if she's beginning to be joining the party again or not. We'll see. Look at this. Displacement, she's an illusion wizard, so displacement for her. Haste, fireball, heroism, blink. Old person, because why not? More fireballs. No. Let's go. Multiple heroisms. Now screw the whole person. We don't need whole person with the two uh, hex queens over there, so more fireballs. And she doesn't have fire four level spells yet. Okay. Save. So Gimpy. So that's there. That's to heal yourself. It's divine zap. Lights oh, why is this on twice? Doesn't do area effect stuff, so you don't need that. Where's a vampire go to get a drink? Oh, he automatically gets and flicks serious ones. Oh, it's already there. Gotta love that. You'd be slowly but surely turning into Mr. Evil. Okay, so, um, Nenio, storyteller, good to talk to you. Okay, the old F smiles when he hears your footsteps. Allow me to congratulate you on your victory and on acquiring mythical powers capable of casting down the strongest of demons. Got the pages you were looking for from the Great Garrison. Carefully takes your, uh, find. Uh, yes, you are right. Another piece of evidence from the past I've forgotten. So, experience. Story cut. Storyteller clenches the pages you brought. His voice becomes a bit younger and more energetic. My hand touches a stone wall. The cold pierces my palm like the teeth of a hungry dog sinking into a piece of meat. I don't take my hand away. I let the stone enjoy my warmth and return for its service. It accepts my caress and my un asked question, the one that's been uh, asked a thousand upon thousands of times. Where should I go next? Behind me I hear the loud stomping of the minotaurs that guard the, this godforsaken place. I tr tricked and outwitted them, leaving only a trace of my presence. There's a darkness lurking up ahead, honing its swords, claws, and teeth and hope that a rare traveler visits its lair, but today it will not get one. Get no one, sorry. This labyrinth is alive. Its red veined stone walls resemble the depths of a huge creature. If you keep still and listen closely, you hear it breathing in the wind that sweeps through this place. Where do I go from here? Forward. To the place uh, whence the wind carried a faint chuckle. Whence comes the faint smell of ash. Whence a few ages ago, Demon Lord Baphomet uh, began his great escape. Are you inside the labyrinth? Yes, I'm traveling through the Ivory Labyrinth. This is uh, not the most pleasant of my journeys, but it is necessary to reach my goal. Were you able to? Have, were you? How were you able to evade all the dangers of the Ivory Labyrinth? 
He raises his chin proudly. Have you forgotten who you're speaking to? I am the last Archmage of Kyonin. I have been to many dangerous places, and this is just one of the many. It won't be the last. What do you need from the, from the labyrinth? An answer to a question, a key to a secret, knowledge that can save many lives. A sliver of a smile appears on the storyteller's lips. My kinfolk were weaklings and cowards. They ran from danger, but one stood up to, to my enemy, and Baphomet will give uh, me the weapon to win. Please continue. For several years I have thought about uh, how to defeat uh, Earthfall. My enemy has no flesh and is impossible to kill. It blazes through everything in its path. It doesn't enslave, but destroys life itself. And I have found the answer. I know how to save my world. Earthfall came to destroy Galarian, and its strike was brutal, and my world barely withstood it. But what if Earthfall was resisted to by one, by not one world, but several worlds at once? What if Heaven um, or Elysium came to to help the dying Galarian? If I managed to m merge my world with another one? Meld them together. The power of the disaster will weaken. The Denzians of Galarian will be able to temporarily take shelter in the adjacent plane. Civilizations will not die. Our culture will continue to exist. We will not be forgotten. Baphomet, the cunning insidious lord of Minotaurs, was once a captive in Asmodeus's prison. But uh, only ten years passed before Baphomet was able to escape taking his own prison with him, which later became the Ivory Labyrinth. Such an achievement deserves respect, and it is the goal of my research. Moving matter between planes is what interests me now. I stop near strange symbols covering the wall of the labyrinth. I run my hand over them to ensure that they are real. Encrypted riddles drawn by Baphomet during his imprisonment. I take the, the bark-covered notebook and painstakingly copy the symbols into it. Behind me, two minotaurs are fighting. Deceived by the, by the net of spells, I have wrapped around myself like a blanket. Ah, so much reading. <laughs> Do you want to connect the planes? That's dangerous. A bark-covered notebook. That's the one your mentor gave you. He's silent for a moment. Then he talks. Uh, there is disdain in his voice. Dangerous, difficult, almost impossible. To, but tell me, is this risk not worth the Galassian Empire perishing before my eyes? Uh, does Golgan, the Cyclops Kingdom, deserve death? What about the... Abolith Empire. The storyteller moves his lips silently. Another plane will pay for saving Galarian. There will be wars, and then a new world will come. But we will survive, and we will defeat Earthfall, and history will not condemn the victors. Bark covered nine. Stuff your mentor gave you. He lowers his head, but a moment later, jigs it back up. Yes, blinded by my pride, I tore it to pieces when I thought I would not follow my kinfolk. I am still not going to run, but the knowledge written in this notebook by my former mentor, Mike, serve my purpose. Elf. The elves managed to open a portal to Savrian, whatever, and keep it open until our people escape from Galarian. The cowardice deserves disdain, but their knowledge is unquestionable. I returned to Kionan and gathered the pieces of my torn notebook. Now it is my sword aimed at the heart of Earthfall, by uh, combining the wisdom of, of elves and cunning of Baphomet, I shall, I will save the world. What happened next? More reading. <laughs> I copied the strange symbols into the notebook. I haven't the slightest idea what these scribbles mean. What was the future demon lord thinking when he wrote them? While well, he was imprisoned in a cell with no way out. Was he still in his right mind? I will uh, need help to understand these notes. Otherwise, decrypting them might take more time than Phrasma has given me. One of the minotaurs behind me killed the other one. Uh, his tore his heart out and devoured it. His blood-stained uh, nose sniffs the air sharply. His bloodshot eyes shift from wall to wall. He senses a stranger, but he doesn't scare me. I am certain of my powers and spells hiding me. I've done my work and can now leave this place, and still I linger. What is this strange presence I feel behind me? Like someone is watching me despite all the protective spells. Who are you? I ask carefully not hoping for an answer. Darkness, a coy female voice whispers in my ear. Against my will, I shudder. He stops talking for a long while. The vision ended at the most interesting moment, didn't it? Uh, he says bitterly at last. Please, find the rest of the pages from this spark-covered book. I must know what happens next. Thank you for your stories. 
Went to discuss your past with you. Blah, blah. We decided to join Crusade. I've decided not to, I'm afraid. My path and the path of the Crusade lead in the same direction, but alas, they are not yet one and the same. After the demons were driven away from Canabras, uh, a path into the world wound became open, if only temporarily. I'm planning on using this opportunity to visit. He falls silent. It doesn't matter now. I hate to bore you with all the details of my venture, which uh, may prove useless even for myself. However, I'll try to return to the Crusaders and aid them in their conf confrontation with the demons after I'm done. I hope to meet you again in this world rather than the next. I have to go. Well, let's see, do we carry anything for him? Touch them. Tell me what you see. Hello, Grandpa Elf. Any type of other... Hello, Finian. Close his eyes and blah, blah, blah. I'm coming to again. How long have I been here? They kept me in a cage for three days, and I know three times the life done, blah, blah, blah. Bladesmith, everyone calls him the Bladesmith stuff. First, I tried to break free, and I'm tired and screamed. Pain was gone, and I was tired, tied to a table. I wasn't tied to a table anymore. I was standing near it. And someone else was lying on the table, a burned corpse covered with black crust. The master took out a handsaw and was sawing off his head in a very focused way. I should have, I should have run but back then, but I couldn't for some reason. This burned corpse had, had a symbol on his belt, just like I do, an eye and a star. My favorite belt, a good one. Where would a stranger get one? It must have been someone from my clan, some distant family member. Storyteller stops, then he speaks again. You hear only a muffled whisper. Those crusaders, I, I was glad when I saw them. I thought they'd come to help, but how? How was it that I killed them all? Someone told me to, and I obeyed. I don't understand. I understand nothing now. I, I need to catch my breath. I need all this to stop, even just for a minute. I just have to. I have to understand what's happening to me. Just need to rest. That is Finian's past, but what awaits him in the future? The dead have no future, but... Storyteller smiles. I see an endless ocean on a good day and a boat floating over the wa waves. I am so excited. But I don't know whose vision this is. Is this a soul existing here and now, or a soul reborn? Thank you for the story. Please take uh, care of this young lad. He is finally in the right hands... Do not worsen his suffering by Im involving him in dishonorable deeds. Shh. Come on, Grandpa Elf. I can take care of myself. I'm not a kid. I don't know what horrors you were talking about, but don't you worry about it. All right. Look for your after yourself. Okay. That's it. Speaking of the sword. <laughs> sword. See if he leveled up yet. Excellent. Want to chat? Talk about you, Scare, Go ahead. Do you realize you're a weapon? How do you find become a pathfinder? Are your you legs getting stiff before the end? You haven't moved in quite a while. Stretch, damn it! You ignorant meatbag. He's trying to uh, ask me to commune with the spirits, but blah stuff. So nothing really going on here. I feel like Chad and always here. I wonder when he's supposed to level up and that kind of stuff. Okay. What's this map look like? Oh, jeez. All kinds of stuff to check out. Sort of. Well. Let's go down here. Let's go find the stuff that's laying on the ground. Oops. Darren. Ah, uh, there you are. You dashing troublemaker, you. Flashes a self satisfaction. Our short acquaintance is coming to an end. Very soon you will depart on your crusade, uh, where you'll scrape by on horrible rations, struggle vainly to fall asleep amidst snoring soldiers, uh, be, rude, be rudely awoken by freezing cold, and have a, to look upon the dour faces of self righteous prigs. Before you finally perish in the maw of some de demon, I have a journey ahead of me, too. I've just uh, rented a sailboat in the south. I've also hired an excellent chef and a host of other um, entertainments. Well, to each their own, I suppose. He pauses and suddenly adds in a more serious voice. You know, I'm generally sad to see you go. 
If it sounds like mockery, forgive me. I cannot switch off my venom gland on a whim, you see. But you, intrigue me. If only we ha have has spent a little more time together, but of course, he grimaces. Not under these conditions. Let the crusaders and the demons have at each other. With any luck, they'll take this uh, entire uh, sanctimonious spectacle down with them. I'll be blunt, blunt, you don't intrigue me, not in the way you obviously had in mind, but you are a valuable companion, you could have stayed in my party. You know, I would like to, uh, if we stayed, you know, I don't intrigue me. I feel you don't uh, belong here, go. If you could, but I'd like to see you again someday in the future, to so get to know you better. You can throw a banquet, no, no, that. I'll be blunt, you don't intrigue me. Who, me, where? In this traveling cert, pardon me. In this army? He offers a doubtful smile. You must be joking. Of course I won't stay. Who in the right mind would uh, trade a luxurious and carefree life for this crusade? In any case, I intend to wait until the army departs. I do love a good send-off, especially when it is I who is staying and someone else is heading off to meet a dreary and hopeless end. Sometimes it does uh, one good to rum ruminate on the unfairness of life. Well then, farewell, Commander. I assume that I shall be your most precious... I assume I shall be your most precious memory on this most disgusting and exhausting road to the pointless slaughter of battle. Or, if not the most precious memory, but then at least the most uh, stirring. He smirks uh, before instantly losing all interest in you, or at least he pretended to. Jar Jar. So start by wiping out the camp and say, the demon made you do it? I don't think that would work. I don't think that would work. Look, horses. Where's, it, there's, where's the stuff that we're at? Uh... We're here to rob everything. Glaives, short sword, cold iron long spear, take that. Got to get paid somehow, right? There's a vendor when you need one to sell this stuff. I know the way. So again, how nice of them to leave all the good stuff laying around. Or some of the good stuff laying around. Meanwhile, your bet there is just following me around watching me take everything. I am prepared. Ching dagger. Look at the scroll. As it should be. Let's up a little bit more. Let's don't. Or guess Gwerm is here. Gwerm, what are you doing? We're tuck after our sovereign departs. This guy. Uh, what's the Garm's uh, quarry, uh, store, quartermaster here? Dump all this crap on the guy. So we don't need that. Blocker will hold on to. Hope we pick we don't need. Cold Iron Masterwork Great Axe, don't need that. Cold Ironwork Master Light Mace, eh. Run on to that for now. Scavenger Valent. The name Tearbade is imprinted on the leather and silver lettering. What are you carrying that around for?
Grand. Oops. Oh. Black Dragon's Fang. It's a long sword. Relentless Assault. Ooh, white Sweep. Whenever this plus two side lands a hit, it deals weapon damage to all adjacent enemies. <gasps> Only 30 grand. Double Jeopardy. Amulet of Jousting. Declares a knight's challenge. He gains plus three damage bonus against the challenged enemy. Nice. So, that's the stuff to play around with here. We'll worry about it later. Swords, stupid heavy flail, dwarven war axe. Really? Wonder what all these buildings go to. Talking shit about Irabat er, about er, about there. It's an honor, is it? So, all these tents. We gotta find where we can rest. After Serenade, the Healing Light, the Goddess of the Sun, Healing and Redemption. After Desna, this place has been sanctified. It can protect the area around it in the form of corruption, blah, blah, blah. Altar of Day. Where's her Urgothoa? Why did she get left out? Why do you hate the Urgothoa so much? I feel slighted. Field medic. Do you have here? Oh, I hope they have scrolls. Please have scrolls. <laughs> it's clear Canaveras suffered especially heavy losses, stuff. Camellia is in here for some reason. Definitely would not. I need to concentrate. Becoming distracted there we leads go. to becoming dismembered. Okay, make sure this is sort of my name. Won't sell stuff. No, we don't buy anything. Um scroll. Okay, so potions. Wow, not a big selection of scro uh, potions here. We need scrolls of restoration because we're kind of hurting. So many scrolls, but are they going to have the right ones? Oh, 119. Thank you. <laughs> and we just pick up 10 for now. 
or nine, I guess. It's in seven grand there. Gimpy. Still negative four there, so I was gonna eat up four scrolls, wasn't it? Oh, just one. Awesome. So Gimpy's back to normal. You're not draining. You are healthy. She is drained. All fixed up. All fixed up. This is wisdom damage. That's the restoration. I well, got one of uh, let's remove paralysis. We got some of these still. So I didn't actually need to use that on him. She's not drained. Okay. All healthy now. I'm never going to find this tent again. Corner of the map are we in? Okay, at least they're marked. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, in here, see what's in here. This is Neurodona's tent. It seems she brought a lot of unnecessary items along with her. Is that a hint? Apparently we're taking all her unnecessary items. Oh, look at that. Alchemist fire. Scrolls with stuff. So much loot. And there's actually no one in here. What are you going to do? So we start to find where we're going to, uh, you know, be able to rest and stuff. Do we get a, you think the commander get his own tent, right? Like that one up there. There should be a chest and everything to store stuff in, I hope. Fingers crossed. Oh, look. The queen's in here. Nath plate. I'll take that for now. Or geesh. Long spear, Come spear, on, spear. You pansy. Get back in there and fight. Oops. You say oops quite often. I did. Do you need assistance? Oh. Just that one. More armor. I guess we could take it and sell it. Oh, this is our chest. Okay, so uh, we want to throw that thing in there. Blocker goes in there for storage reasons. Actually, throw in all the books. With the armor, chronicle extract. I'm not sure what that stuff's good for. Cold iron uh, cookery. We eh, actually don't really need it right now. Not wearing, not wearing that because we have better. Oh, the heavy paws. More damp war axe. So this is just a war and war axe that deals acid damage on a hit. We'll sell that. 
still don't know what this is. For some reason, we're collecting severed heads. And they're kind of heavy. Yeah, I don't even know what I have them for. It's like a house full of a block. You can choose any skill and rub the token to get a plus five signal to the chosen skill checks for one hour. I'll try to hold on to that for some reason. The malady. Yeah, throw that in storage for now. Okay. See, we're collecting stuff. Okay, so who are we talking to next? Let's see what the queen has to say since she's in here. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Let's talk to the queen first. Queen greets you with the stare. She has dropped the pompous air which uh, she just announced with which she announced the Fifth Crusade. The face of the ruler of Mendev appears calm and thoughtful. She has made her move and now awaits her opponent's reply. Commander, I am satisfied with the troop review, but I do not expect they will be sufficient for the task. You will have to prove yourself a shrewd leader and hire the necessary troops with the provided funds. Uh oh. Gotta bounce a checkbook, huh? I have chosen a target for your campaign, and that target is Dresden. Our lost outpost within the world wound. The Sword of Valor was kept there, a banner that was once carried by Iomade herself. Our greatest relic was lost when the city fell. I should make one thing clear from the start. The Sword of Valor is no mere symbol, but a powerful weapon against demons. The holiness of the banner weakens them and robs them of one of their most dangerous abilities, teleportation. A forced march to Dresden awaits you. The Sword of Valor is kept somewhere within the Citadel. The demons probably think it's a hunting trophy. Its recovery is just as important as retaking the city itself. I hope the task is clear. I'm sending two specialists to help you, along with the soldiers. A historian, Nura Dendewar, and a cleric, Sozial Bainik. She nods to the human man and the young halfling woman standing next to her. One of the famous inquisitors of the Church of Iomade also wants to talk to you. The Honorable Leota, whom everyone calls Hawkblade. I do not wish to keep you, Commander. The matter I must discuss with you is extremely important, but it is not directly related to the Crusade. You no doubt wish to meet your new comrades and speak with Her Majesty. Therefore, I shall leave you now. But I ask that you seek me out in the camp at your earliest convenience. Hi! Listen, it's amazing here. It's like I'm in a ballad. There's knights in shining armor, deadly dangers, glorious feats. We are going to show those demons. I'm so tired of sitting in a library reading books about history. It's time hey, I Kimpy, took part in it. Have you hydrated <laughs> lately? If not, you really should. I should. I I'm just glad did. to help our cause, Commander. If you have some time later, I'd like to speak with you further. You'll have plenty of time to talk. You're the Knight Commander's people now, his trusted advisors and companions. Now then, will you please leave us? Erebus, you can go too. Uh-oh. Well, you met at Defender's Heart. I never imagined you'd make me the commander of the new crusade. Some actions may be deemed bold or even extreme. And beyond those, there are some you might call the Queen's last resort. I am not a simple monarch. I am at war with the Abyss, a war which has lasted over a hundred years. I cannot allow myself the luxury of caution. In you, I see a chance, and I am willing to stake everything on it. However, you cannot blame me for putting you in charge of the Crusade. I only formalized what had already happened in the hearts and minds of many. People spoke of the power that descended upon you and helped you save the Wardstones from corruption and total destruction. Word of this feat quickly spread far beyond the borders of Mendev. There was no other person who could better fit the role of Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. I have some questions about my mission to retake Dresden. Of course. I shall answer. How did the demons manage to conquer? That's a good question. Its walls were built by dwarf craftsmen, and the power of the Sword of Valor protected the city. 
Alas, where raging hordes failed, a single lying tongue was all they needed to succeed. The demoness Minago convinced a young and ambitious crusader named Staunton Vane that the banner belonged on the battlefield. He went on a daring and unapproved raid, and the banner ended up in the enemy's hands. The city fell soon after. Ever since then, for seven decades, it has served as a citadel for the forces of the Abyss. Sound vain. I saw him at the Great Garrison. He defected to the demon's side. Oh, really? I wasn't informed of this. After Dresden fell because of Staunton, he was nearly sentenced to death. He deserved it. In wartime, men are hanged for far less. But you have no idea what a terrible sight it is. A raging crowd of crusaders baying for blood. Never have my fighters looked so much like the demons we are fighting. I commuted Staunton's sentence and stripped him of his rank. Not just for him, but for my army and my country. We are not Hell Knights. We do not maintain discipline with public executions. Evil. I can't believe no one decided to punish him unofficially. Not in my army. I know all too well that the armies of some kingdoms tolerate humiliation, beatings, and even murder. Their commanders imagine it brings their soldiers together and enforces discipline. Anyone who tries to introduce such rules in Mendev will face a tribunal, along with anyone who tries to shield them, even upper command. Hint, hint. <laughs> what forces are at my disposal? Everyone we saw today at the parade. First among them, the Eagle Watch, who remain a powerful force thanks to Erebeth's resourcefulness. Also marching with you are several minor knightly orders, as the minor volunteer units like to be called. And finally, I have personally selected some recruits from Neurosian. They have little in the way of battle experience, but great determination and a thirst to prove themselves. I've always thought that an army benefits from at least one such unit. These forces, as I said, are not enough for a march on Dresden. You will have to hire additional troops with the funds that have been provided to you. But for a brave commander, and I hope you are one, that is just the beginning. If you retake Dresden, recover the holy power of the Sword of Valor, and gain a foothold in the region, then new armies will join under your banner. The Fifth Crusade is only beginning. Many battles and victories lie ahead. We... okay. It's been decades and no one has managed to retake the city. Why do you think we're different? We have a chance now that we haven't seen in decades. But it's more than that. You created this chance for us by foiling the demon's plans in Canabris. The army who attacked the city came straight from Dresden. Demon hordes from the Abyss are usually encamped there, but many of them perished on the streets of Canabris. We must attack swiftly before they can restore their forces. When the city is free and the Sword of Valor appears before our soldiers, they won't be sending in any more reinforcements. Demons cannot teleport into an area protected by the Banner of the Goddess. About long-term goals, do you know how to get rid of the world wound forever? Now you are talking like a real knight commander. However, answering your question is not easy. To win this war, we must bar the demon's way. There are a few planar rifts leading to the abyss across the territory we call the world wound. The best specialists we could find have tried to close them on separate occasions, with no success, as you may have guessed. Well, Catgirl, because there's already royalty here. <laughs> this land is not available to be taken over. And we didn't actually get to lead an army in the in the in uh, Kingmaker anyway. Even when we have a kingdom, we didn't actually have an army to lead. That was disappointing. The world wound is more than just a chain of portals to the abyss. We do not understand its nature yet. The methods of rift closure known to magical science simply do not work here. However, we have a hypothesis, and a rather well-grounded one, that we must begin at the source of the problem, the place where the world wound was opened. The main rift lies through the city of Iz and the Threshold Fortress, deep in the former lands of Sakoris. We have never managed to fight our way so far and gain a foothold to allow the mages to explore the origins of the world wound. So, 
The next step, after you succeed in Dresden, is an offensive push deeper into the Wild Wound, with the aim of reaching Threshold. The very Threshold of the Abyss. Six feet more coffer on army? I don't know about that, but you can try. I have no more questions. <laughs> Except I have more questions. Did you know that the souls of angels from heaven are confined in the Wardstone? I had guessed as much. Many angels fought alongside us in the First Crusade. Heaven was unable to mobilize its full might to aid us, but individual Celestials volunteered to fight for our cause. Then one day, they all vanished, saying that they were setting off on an important mission. Not long after, Iomedes' Herald erected the first Wardstone in Kenobris, and then the others in cities across Mendev. Even back then, I had nagging doubts. But my faith in Iomade easily assuaged them. It is for us to serve the goddess, after all, not to question her works. In any case, I am glad you did not allow the demons to commit sacrilege and gain control over the Wardstone in Canopris. We might have lost one of the Wardstones, but the chain is still standing. You should know I received an unusual gift in the caves beneath the Canaveras. In a vision, I saw the death of an angel called Lario, something he was able to grant me somehow he was able to grant me the ability to reveal the light of heaven lariel i knew him he disappeared shortly before the world wound grew and dresden fell into the enemy's hands in the chaos we had more important concerns than investigating the fate of a single angel even one so righteous and beloved as lariel and afterward matters took a turn for the worse the angels left us to go on their special mission Damn angels. It is so strange to hear the names I used to hear when I was young. Like getting a message from the past. It is sad news, but it brings me back to the times when we strongly believed in our victory and we rushed headlong toward it without fear. Could it be that such times have come again? What are you gonna do? Overlooking a spot of insubordination just at the moment. However... <laughs> I shall answer you. I shall prepare the defenses at Nerosian and all the other border cities and plan the future of the Fifth Crusade. Does that satisfy your curiosity, Knight Commander? Okay, either uh, good or lawful. Lawful requires a mythic path. Does the Church of Iomade really spend so much effort to prolong your your life, Queen? Or prolong your life, uh, Queen, just so you can watch the battle from a, from the rear? You're the living banner of the Crusades, and your duty is on the front lines. Since anyone tried to talk to me quite like that, like an interrogator at a trial. I don't know if you realize what you're suggesting. If our enemies in the depths of the wound were to discover that I was with your army, they would immediately send their most vicious demons to attack. They would stop at nothing to be rid of me, and thereby sow chaos across Mendev. Well, I could take over. But, you are right. I shouldn't be sitting it out in the rear. I am a warrior queen, and a queen of warriors. Yet my fighters have forgotten what I look like. Fine. I shall join the crusade, but on my own terms. Damn it. First, I shall assemble my entourage and lead the parade out of the camp. I shall catch up with you later, along with a few hand-picked bodyguards. We'll change our armor, and I'll become a knight of a minor order, and join the troops incognito. Until we approach Dresden, no one should know I am among you. But before we storm the city, I shall show myself to the troops and join the battle. Let it be a surprise for the demons. I hope you won't complain of my company on the road, Commander, since you were the one who insisted upon it. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? Nope. Splendid. Ah, yes. We have one final matter to attend to. It should be rather enjoyable. You're single? Count, there you are. You received my instruction? I did, though I did not have time to read the thing before I was dragged before your majesty. In truth, I was readying myself to depart. I don't think so. No matter. I trust you will forgive your sovereign for the rather brusque summons, especially when you learn what prompted it. As you are aware, he has recently been appointed my Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. 
I spent a long while pondering whom to appoint to the highly sensitive post of Commander's Field Attaché and Advisor Plenipotentiary without portfolio. Congratulations, Count. Uh, somehow I think he's going to be thrilled about that. It is a great honor, I suppose. And he's thrilled. Rather frivolous gesture for me. <laughs> the adequacy of any measure can only be assessed against the reason that prompted it. Isn't that so, Count? Uh oh. I had my doubts about whether you were ready for such a responsibility, Count. But your conduct in Kenobris has put my mind at ease. So, you will travel with the troops to Dresden. Only the commander may remove you from your post. But I trust that you will dutifully fulfill his orders and make a good showing of yourself. Oh, he's going to be so thrilled. Especially since word of your appointment, Count, will reach the court at any moment. All of Mendev's nobility will be following your successes in service to the nation, including all of your devoted admirers. I even heard that one bard with whom you are particularly friendly has already begun composing a ballad to honor your heroic participation in the crusade and your faithful service to the commander here. Great, welcome back. Found a fantasy world under the surface of Mars. Oh, that will happen later, I guess. Your largesse truly knows no bounds, dear cousin. I am most, most gratified by the honor you have shown me. Then let's get going. May Ayomade help us. I think that's going to have to wait until October, Gray, until we start digging underground on Mars. Is that it? Enio removes bite. You can be in a nice little size. Still waiting for the ghost of Mars. Ah. Okay, this is three to nineteen, thirteen to nineteen. This is plus two, so fourteen to twenty, slightly better damage, and does the negative energy too. So I'll clip this. So, for now, another work. Okay, so I'm supposed to talk to more people because we haven't talked enough yet. Now we have to rest. Is there a place to rest? There we go. I'll go ahead. This done with. Anyway, happy Tuesday, everyone. What kinds of stuff going on here? Look, she can make scrolls for us. Scorching ray, endurance, and the person. Not the scrolls we want or need. She's the only one that can make scrolls, though, isn't it? Spell book. Oh, is she? Now she needs to be able to scribe scrolls. She's, so she's the only one that can do it. We need one of our divine people to pick up that feat to write scrolls. I think that would save us a little bit of money. And we still don't have anybody that can really do potions. Right? She has the potion feat. She just doesn't really have the skill to do it. Twenty-five percent success chance, we, and we forgot to pick up knowledge skill for her. That's that's the problem why she can't do this because her knowledge skill is so low. And Gimpy doesn't have the brew potion feat. I don't know if we're gonna be able to pick that up at some point or not. We've met before. You never shoot me from the temple steps, and once you gave me a whole loaf of bread. And I'd let you keep sleeping on the street. Forgive me, Ember. I did nothing for you when you needed my help. 
Oh, looks like we have a new person there. New guy. So this guy, Sozio, neutral human clear. Oh, a regular cleric. Well then. What abilities do you have? Special abilities. Please tell me you can write, make potions. Shellen. Cleric. Beats. No, oh, he doesn't have potion stuff. That's okay. My gear. Scale. Oh, he's got a glaive. Hmm. Glaive. We have a glaive for him. Weapons. Throw that in there for now, just in case. Where's the glaive? So the marching terror. Let's hit a new enemy. Negative damage. All all other enemies in the 15 foot radius must save when or become frightened for one round. Definitely picked out it for him. The new guy. It's hiding there. There it is. So you don't need that pesky little glaive. Wow, they didn't even give him a cold iron one. You don't have any bear room. So you can wear this. Regular breastplate. A little bit better than what he's already wearing. And that's all. So we might have let him tag along for a little bit. I don't know who we're going to ditch, but definitely want to bring him along to see how he does. Spell books. Let's see. Projection from Evil True Strike. Less. Unbreakable Heart. I don't think he's going to want Shield of Faith. That's two. Restoration Lesser. That'll save us some money. Give him the aligned weapon so we can hit demons if necessary. I'll look at all the prayers. Spell magic. Poison. Most energy communal. That'll work for a little while. So now we have to rest again, but yeah, we don't have to do it right now. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Okay. Go check on the dogs. Your next break is in two hours. Okay. So we're going to uh, pause here, get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of stuff. And we'll be back in a few minutes. And we got about two hours or so to go for the end of the stream. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll be back shortly. Enjoy the video.